conversation, which of course borders on a very salient um, uh, concern that everyone in Nigeria talks about. It is a concern around um, insecurity. Yes, insecurity, we, we've spoken so much about it earlier today, but then we are not done with it. It is one that every Nigeria seems uh, bothered about. <laughs> Let's begin to uh, prefer solutions and see how we can deal with uh, uh, this, key, this key concern around insecurity. We have in, the, in our Lagos studios here, um, Eshamo Maimudu, who is um, the National Head of News, Silverbed News 24, uh, joining us this morning. Um, Esh, good, so good to have yeah, you on the my show. My pleasure to be here with you. And yeah. Merci. Good to have you. African too. queen, like that guy said. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk in security matters. In fact, that's way, way more important than being a queen or being a, you know, a king. <laughs> All right, so we, t we termed it national security, mm. citizens' fears, and uh, perspectives. And what that means is that um, shortly on this segment, the phone lines are going to be opened, and um, you will be expected to call in. Let's get your perspective to the concerns around the um, national security. And uh, how secure do you feel, or how afraid are you at this point in time, being a Nigerian, living in Nigeria? Earlier on the show this morning, we brought you a conversation around a young um, nine-year-old nine, nine year kid uh, who was um, well, said to be an arm robber. Uh, he confessed to be an arm robber. Many, many concerns that these are thrown out this morning. Esh, when we talk about national security, what comes to your mind for you? What comes to mind for you? For me, it, it, it's all about safety. Mm. Safety within my, uh, the borders of my country, and safety from external aggression. Mm. And if you look at those, the two aspects, you now find out which agencies are in charge of internal security. You have the police, you have the DSS, and uh, you have several other security NCD, agencies. NCD, NCD, now, NCD, yeah. Exactly, NCDC. You know, for, for against external aggression, you have the, the military, army, navy, yeah. air force, yeah. and you now have the NIA, yeah. that is the National Intelligence Agency. Yeah. You have the uh, Defense Intelligence Agency, who are also, because the, the SSS is for the internal, yeah. the NIA and the defense intelligence for the external, external and yeah. those are supposed to be providing intelligence stuff so we now ask ourselves how uh, are secured away within the borders of nigeria we just talked about the a little boy that is alleged to be a robber and i listened to your discussion in the morning and my own worry was uh, uh, not just that uh, the, the police probably they, they, they don't have capacity to stop it from coming online but the issue is people posted these things online can't you find out? Because if you don't begin to go to that space to deal with those who post malicious videos and make them scapegoats, we're never going to get people diseased from so generally we're talking about X-rated videos coming online. Mm. Go back to those people sharing it, who share the video of this little boy. You'll be able to trace them and make people don't wait until a VIP is 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 uh uh, somebody said something about a, v a, 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 a VIP, you now say, okay, the security agency is coming after you for bullying and all that. Don't wait until that. Make the cyberspace very secure. Whoever does what he's not supposed to do online, the security agency should go there surreptitiously, get those people arrested, prosecute them. By so doing, others will become careful what they share. So you don't just send videos to them and share them. So, 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 so if we begin to make scapegoat, I'll become very careful when I receive video and ask questions about the video before I share and all that. So what I'm saying in essence is, as Nigerians, how secure am I? What's the level of confidence I have in the police? Mm. What's the level of confidence I have in the DSS? Because it's all about information. If I'm going to provide information to the police, for instance, how am I sure that the information I release to the police will not get to the individuals or the quarters I am reporting? Do I feel secured? And those are the things we begin to look at. We're talking about uh, cultism with the death of mobile. We're talking about cultism. The other thing is, whether we like it or not, these guys have gone into organizations of governments. The other time, a former president said, uh, 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 sympathizers of Boko Haram are in his government. And that is the fact. So which means, courtists... That was, uh, that was years back. Yes. Courtists are in governments. They are in the security agencies. They are in the civil service. They are in the media. 
they're in, they're in the family, they're in the society, and those, that's the absolute truth. So if we own up to it, then the man providing the information, the first thing is, what if I give this information on how to track somebody that are making the space mm. unsecured? Mm. Hope I, I'm not reporting to the man who is their link and they'll get at me. So I should have a measure of protection around me. So it's not just saying provide information. The system must make the, the, the process uh, 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 protective for me to have the confidence to come to share information so that at the end of the day, the security can sweep in and deal with the insecurity in the land. I mean, Ash, well said, while we are looking at the international scene and the security going on in the international scene, there seemed to be a breath of relief somewhat in Nigeria until you know we started hearing the news over and again of abduction here burning of villages here and there reprisal attacks here and there very recently of course the 24 remaining abducted female off campus students has yet to be gotten and then we're seeing in the papers today um, that uh, uh, the amnesty international i can see on the nigerian tribune is saying that the security lapses must be investigated and i can take a, a good look at some of the bylines that are here they are still calling for the rejigging of the Nigeria security architecture. That architecture seems like a big word. Probably um, the cater of authority, the systems or what. Um, uh, we don't know which of them they should um, uh, rejig. And also, they are expressing worry about the coordinated attack. They plan, they warn ahead. Sometimes they even drop letters that we are coming. And they will come, they do what they want to do, and they will walk away. So... Let me get your th thoughts about the issue of rejigging the security framework. That's, that's the word I'd like to use. The word to use. Yeah, the security framework, <laughs> as well as the issue of intelligence gathering. Yeah, when you talk about whether it is framework or architecture, it's all about the process of from gathering the information, whether it's, whether it's from the security agencies or from ordinary Nigerians that provide the information. I just talked about an individual in Nigeria feeling safe if I provide an information. So if I don't feel safe providing information, then you're going to have a lap you're going to have lapses in that aspect. So if you're saying we're jigging, then we must create an environment. The other day we, the other day we had the uh, whistleblower stuff. Yeah. Now, the whistleblowers have they been protected. You've heard of whistleblowers who the system came after them, who probably said, okay, what we had promised we were never given. Now, when you have a policy, it's not, the problem is not with the policy. It is with those who have the responsibility to implement the policies. Now, there are some people who take who takes delight in frustrating policies so that they won't work because their interest is for the system not to work. Now, we have a president. It's our responsibility, collective responsibility, to make sure that this man succeeds. But if he must succeed, then the first question I ask again is, when last did you hear about community policing? I is mean, it that, that, is, that, 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 is it that it has gone with the former IGP? The new man is there now bringing his own system. But no, we can't progress that way. Community policing is beyond one IGP. Mm. Community policing is something that we must, we must appreciate and adopt, whether we like it or not, because you can't have a unitary command system. Somebody sits down there in Abuja as the IGP and gives command to the DPO right in the grassroots. No! Mm. Or somebody sits in the presidency, we just had the president say he gives matching order. And I had the former uh, uh, Guild of Editors president say, Do you need to wait for the president to give you a uh, uh, oh, matching yes. order? You were appointed with clear objective in mind. So if you fail in that objective, you sanction. So it's even, it's even an indictment to say he gave you a matching order. So because he said so, I will move in. So what I'm saying is to rejig it. If we go back to the basics, we were talking about community policing. Why have we not gotten to that point of community policing? Why suddenly have we forgotten about it? We have the, <coughs> excuse me, Bless you. just talked about the DSS, the NIA, and all that. For them to really thrive, they need to work with the people. Information gathering, it still deals with the people. Mm -hmm. You don't gather the information from just outer space. It's from your relationship with the people. How well are they relating with the public? In those days, you never, you never get to know who is a secret agent. And even these days, some, some, some of your friends might even be secret agents you don't even know. Some of them might even be assigned to be in the media you don't know. He's well outspoken in the media and you didn't know he's, he's an agent. Some might be at the beer parlor with you, they're agents. But you see, we must pay premium 
on those who are carrying out those undercover responsibilities. David, give me just a minute. So, Esh, you, hammer, uh, you are hammering a lot on community policing. Does that mean the structure that we have now is something that probably we should do away with, that it's not going to work? But see, because it looks like it hasn't worked, worked so but far. See, you can't be doing the same thing and expect a different result. It has not worked so far, so we should change it. At the point we had the, the parliamentary system of government, it didn't work. We experimented with the presidential. It's not working. That's why just before I came, I came here, I was discussing with the people backstage, and I said, I've not had people talk about restructuring federal system. Mm. I've not had the president talk about it. And I think this should be one of the very primary things he should be championing. Because this stru federal structure is what is killing us. You should devolve power to the various regions. Devolve power to whether it is the state of the country federal unit or the regions. You must devolve power from the center. You must also take power away from the IGP and give some powers to the, to, to the, to the governor, give some powers to the local government chairman. Because the local government chairman is closed. Sometimes, uh, so, so recently uh, in, 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 in a part of Lagos, there was court clash. And uh, uh, I, I was asking the traditional head in that place, what have you guys done? Now they said they called the various DPO in the two communities close by. Mm -hmm. They didn't act. They did not call the area commander, who now instructed. They now switched into action. Ch chain of commands. Maybe ch now, chain now, of commands. Why will... A traditional, why will a local head or a CDA call you and you won't step in? Because he does not see himself taking instructions from them. The system is operating is, I take instruction from my superior, but it shouldn't be. So we should break down these things. Mm -hmm. And I think the president can help us by initiating an executive bill. Hold on, hold your thoughts there, um, um, Esh. Let's open the phone lines and let's get to hear what Nigerians think about uh, this conversation. Natural, national security concerns, fears and perspectives. I'll call the numbers on your screen. Let's hear what you think about um, the conversation going. How, how secure do you feel wherever you are as a Nigerian? You, uh, how, how secure do you feel giving to uh, the operas within our neighboring countries? and all of that. Do you feel very pretty secure? Um, big questions we're asking today on the show. Call the numbers and uh, let's, let's speak with you. Um, you, you, you. You're seriously hammering on the need for community policing. I know this argument has been on for, for over, over a decade and even more than so that. So why is it not working? Yeah. Why have we not so, done so, it? So why, I mean, the arguments have all often been that um, we are not exactly very ripe. When we begin to look at the antecedents and the attitudes of, of state governors and all of that, one begins to wonder what will become of the state policing. Can I shock you? Have you wondered about the attitude of the presidents? Whether this president or past presidents? Have you worried about the attitudes? Just recently, we're saying that people were saying that, okay, the president should not be the one appointing the INEC chairman because he's also a participant. Have you worried, are you worried about it? You can never have a perfect situation. So if governors will abuse, put process in place also to check the powers of the governors. That was a place I said, for goodness sake, we have three tiers of government. You have, uh, you have the federal, you have the states. We ought to have the, the local government. We don't have the local government. <laughs> yes, because it ought to be an independent. But in the same law passed by, this, by the National Assembly, and they have refused to amend, you now made the local government the third tier to be under the House of Assembly. So the House of Assembly determines his tenure. Why don't you have, the just federal. like you have in the, the federal. federal, yes. So, and you now have a joint account. Why don't you have a joint account for the federal and state, and state governments? governments? Why do you have a joint account for the federal and the local government? Because in their own thinking, the local government is inferior. And that is why we are not making progress. That is why, you see, see governors decide to remove whoever they want to remove. And put in whoever, if any governor conducts local government election in the state, he will win the election 100%. So why do we have that? Why shouldn't we tinker with the law and make the local government really independent? If they fail, put in the law how to sanction them. But we say we are not matured. We are over matured. We are over right for community policing. In the UK, in, in the US, you don't have uh, for a, so, so a nomenclature like our own IGP. You have the Metropolitan Police. That is so effective. I get to say even more effective than, than, than what we have in here. But you see, and it also, it's not about the, norm, the, the chain of command. 
I, I wonder the CCTVs we have around. On Saturday, I, took, I, I, I was doing my exercise. I went from Barrega to Bagada, Antony, Pedro, and all that. And when I got to a point around Corona School, that's, that's why you're coming from the express, that, yeah. that space. Yeah. I saw the, 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 struct, the statue of, I think, uh, 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 Tai Solari or so at that place. And, and I wonder to myself, who would dare come on that space to sit down and relax? Because it's office security. Now, you don't even have uh, public cameras in those places. I think the first start before governors and local government chairmen is to look at public spaces and put cameras in there. So that you're not going to say crime should not happen. Crime will definitely happen no matter how equipped you are. But you see, if it happens, you should be able to need, you need to get those people immediately. So start with the public spaces, parks, put cameras in there so that people can go to parks to relax. If anybody comes in, you can go back to that place and check. But what you have now, for instance, in Lagos is you have cameras on the road to get people who are driving because that is their focus. Yeah, revenue. Revenue. revenue is the focus. Yes. It is not about the safety. Of people. Put it at, in, 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 in public spaces, parks. Okay. Where people gather, put cameras in there. People will feel secured. People will feel safe that they can volunteer information. Is it time to embrace the intervention of? Um, uh, this is time for us to go. Yes, we do. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I won't be able to go ahead with the question, but I wanted to <laughs> ask you. So much. It was time to embrace the intervention of the foreign, you know, um, foreign help. So Maybe we'll extend that about. to issues of Absolutely. the news. Absolutely. At 3 p.m. All right. Thank you so much, Ashima Mumu, the National Head of News, Civil Bird News 24. Thank you My for pleasure. joining us this morning. My pleasure.